taking a look today at uh, pedal assembly that I built for the V8 uh, Triumph. Uh, for a long time I used a TR6 pedal box but with the modified TR6 brake pedal and a clutch pedal that was doing nothing since the car was automatic. So I built this uh, system over the past couple of years. It's uh, basically two pedals on a common shaft. So pressing either pedal will work the brakes to bring the assembly back I've got these little pseudo pedals for the springs the stock springs to hook onto I've got the stock brake light switch I bent the tab a little bit because this lever is much wider than the pedal and where the TR6 master cylinder had a clevis that came in around the pedal. In order to get the right hand side brake pedal as close to the gas pedal as possible, I had to lean this way over, get into this space here, and there was no possibility with a straight pedal anyway. I wanted to have two levers on the assembly and a pin go through like a heim joint but I couldn't do that there's not room to have two levers side by side here so I settled for a brake pedal that does nothing but turn the main shaft and then a separate lever to work the master cylinder now here's a clevis that I got on the eBay and by my calculations this hole here is the same leverage ratio as stock and in the future I may need to try those other uh, leverage ratios but this one here is uh, stock also the leverage ratio of the and starting position of these uh, springs is the same as as stock something I added that's not stock I've got a, a positive up stop that's adjustable so I can adjust the, the starting position towards the floor or towards the dash by adjusting this screw here. Made these uh, pedal arms out of uh, 3 8 steel uh, stock seemed to be about a quarter and I made sure even with these holes drilled that at every cross section it's the same area or more as stock. The center support is gone. The shaft rides on bushings at both ends with the stock pin going up the middle. And I put a grease fitting on it and uh, made the initial pumping up with grease. So I hope to have this in the car and operational later today. So this was my last chance to show it outside of the car. Oh, and I sprang for new Triumph pedal pads. Here's a quick look, perhaps give a better understanding of what it looks like in the car. This surface is horizontal. This is the firewall and the master cylinder attaches to here at an angle. Pedals hang down in case that wasn't clear. Wanted to also make note of these dents, these recesses I had to form in this to clear the underside of the VIN rivets. The VIN plate on the opposite side of the sheet metal is right here and the tail end of the rivets is actually surprisingly large and required these large dents to provide clearance. So here's the pedal arrangement that I had been using up to this point. It's another TR6 pedal box. It still has a separate brake and clutch. What's changed is where the TR6 would have a clevis on both sides of the brake pedal. I bent it 
you can see it used to go this way. I bent it that way so I could line up this uh, shoulder bolt and uh, rod end arrangement. It's actually off of a pickup truck. So that's lined up with the master cylinder and then bent this in the direction of the gas pedal. But you may recall the one that I just built has the gas pedal beyond this surface. I'm sorry, the brake pedal near the gas pedal beyond this surface. I couldn't possibly bend this one all the way over there and have it still work. And you might note these uh, burned paint areas. I reshaped these in the car. I don't remember if I was moving them toward the gas pedal or away, but it doesn't matter now. Also note here is the center support, which is not used, which is ground off in my new arrangement. Also, I'd forgotten, although the pedals have holes for return springs, the return springs are actually attached to this pseudo pedal and to this lever, which works the clutch master cylinder in the stock arrangement. Something I don't understand, what is this hole for? Since I don't have a TR6, I, maybe it would be obvious if I did, but I don't know what this hole is for. I don't know why there's a spring attachment tab there. These two holes, I don't know what they are for. And I don't think the, the new one has those. I noticed now I was thinking ahead, I added grease fittings to this too, so this was ready for the long haul, which did not materialize. Out with the old and in with the new. So here's what it looks like installed in the car. You can see the pedal box is installed as far to the left as possible until it's right up against the the cowl there and the pedals are angled toward the gas pedal which you can see right there a modified TR4 gas pedal connected to a completely separate uh, assembly supporting it so I've been on one test drive uh, so far very happy with the result um, I've got a pedal uh, conveniently lined up under each foot and I did not experience any interference uh, catching my foot on the back of the brake pedal uh, moving it from the gas to the brake the right brake pedal and the left brake pedal uh, very convenient for the left foot some kind of a truck has started up in the neighborhood I hope the audio is audible thanks and be sure and watch my other videos